yo welcome back to another video after a good old minute because i'm so for me personally it felt like a hot minute since i've actually made a, an actual video like just basically i want to i have to take a turn on this video <laughs> because uh see here's the thing i kind of i kind of admitted long ago that uh, i would be on some spam stuff but before i get into more detail about that the surprise no, uh, see the surprise rearranged from a lot of shit one of them was really supposed to be that well i mean i would just get on forza bound and then just do a multiplayer playlist and then call it a day <laughs> literally like i was gonna do that but see here's the problem i don't like forza bound i know how to play forza bound to an extent now and i still don't want to fucking play it because i just don't like it i don't forza bound it's just too forza it's too it's too forza related to enjoy like it just feels horrible like i just don't fucking like it. and the second idea was supposed to be that i would make an alt account just for raps meaning i would have to basically grind an entire account just to basically um make raps you know that account would literally just have to be to make raps means i have to do grinding twice on two accounts and uh that well that went out the window because um let's just say the account broke the exact same way that my main account broke when it came to raps. And, you know, I'm going to get to that soon, which is going to be the whole sole purpose of this video. But the third one, I want to say the third one at this point will have to be Asphalt 9. Like, I will grant y'all Asphalt 9 gameplay. Oh, God, I will grant y'all Asphalt 9 gameplay. I feel that's the only option at this point. <laughs> and people know I don't like Asphalt 9, despite the fact that I spent so much time on it and have a lot of shit in there. I like Asphalt 9, but I don't like it because of its current state. And the fact that Game Loft just choose to, you know, say, fuck our player base. And we just want people to give us more clout and attention so we can push more types of microtransactions and more ways to manipulate the multiplayer experience. But anyway, like yourself to the post notifications. It's just gonna be a minute if I can do any type of big videos that I wanna do. Like, for instance, this one. I might be able to push a video out as soon as I can, but I don't think it's gonna be like very, very soon. It's gonna be a minute. So this video, I'm sorry. Like I said, I said I said I wasn't gonna talk about fucking uh, Motorfest no more because of the fact that this update basically proved that my game was still broken. Customize my AR like you're black. All right, um, this is gonna be a little bit of an update. I got curious. I'm like, you know what, maybe maybe if I look on YouTube and see if I could find someone that has this exact same problem that I have. I can I can just root it out that this is not no ban shit and that this is a literal like broken problem of the game and lord and behold have I actually found it first of all I need to I need to point this out bro I need to get a shout out to this man right here because I thought I was the only one that had this problem and was willing to post it on YouTube despite knowing that there's going to be a bunch of dumbasses who's going to be like oh you just complaining uh, it's fine you don't need to worry about the rap better just play the damn game and it's like quite frankly this is the exact same problem now watch this shit you watch this man watch 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 just watch this watch this shit bro you see picking a decal right and he said it as a visible color too just so people aren't just you know oh i can see you you probably kept it look you can tell like look bro see sizing it up he moved it to the side sized it up still can't fucking see it same problem it's same problem takes forever to switch from changing material or bagging out of the um bagging out of the rap editor and he's gonna do a different color too just to show just how fucking broken this shit is you see that sized it up and everything still can't even see it <laughs> and that ubisoft just don't give a fuck about fixing the game and i stuck to that until i realized that i basically admitted to myself that i would spam these motherfuckers in one way or another if my game was still broken when this update dropped and lord and behold it was still broken even after the horrible not even a horrible maintenance after the you know extended maintenance 
and this was when I had to go to work too so I was really really irritated because I wait I waited that long just basically to not have a fixed rap editor but now I have to make this video because um I actually have more additional information on my uh, problem at hand so before, and I'm going to say this, before anybody decides to get the wrong idea that I'm just trying to get clout or some shit, like I'm trying to, like I'm trying to get my numbers up, I'm doing this because they quite literally deserve to look bad considering that they're doing this shit on purpose. I had made an alt account, right, to see if the rap editor will work and because I was thinking maybe it won't, maybe it probably won't be that bad if I just start a whole new account just for raps. You know what I'm saying? It was a good idea at first, but then slowly just started crippling away. Cause uh, if you know me, you know how many fucking decals I've made for a rap, <laughs> well for raps period. Y'all, y'all would know how many decals I basically made, especially how annoying they were to work with when I had to find certain loopholes and shit to get them to work. I got on the alt account, right? I got on the alt account and. The rap editor was working. It was actually working. And from that point, I said, okay, well, damn. Like, that's fucked up. Now, I can't believe my shit is that broken. But, you know, I got off the game and then I just had to think to myself, like, do I really want to do this? And eventually, I just, I think somewhat the last couple of days, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I will gladly just restart my journey. And I would still play on my main account, obviously. Because I was gonna do that shit with the homies today. We was gonna we was gonna grind some shit out. You know what I'm saying? We was gonna grind a lot of races out and shit. You know, get parts and stuff. And um uh, and get on the game to see if the rap editor will work. And then you know go to the rap editor and I see that the rap editor has became broken. And not just broken, but broken in the exact same way that my rap editor is. On my main account and i'm gonna just say this right now bro i'm convinced that ubisoft is intentionally on some shit it had me so irritated because i'm like bro the rap editor was literally working when i first got on how do you how does it immediately just be broken like that you know me and the homies we're talking about it we're talking about this shit we, we eventually just came with you know a couple reasons as to why this could be happening and one of them was that i could be potentially banned from the rap editor and it's a stretch as you know one of the homies said and it's the reason when the reason why it's a stretch because if it is then that's fucked in my case because here's the thing i'm not gonna be able to get my shit back like bro I, if i'm actually banned from the rap editor for some reason i'm not gonna be able to get unbanned because ubisoft are not gonna give a fuck another reason is because my copy of motorfest despite the fact <laughs> that it's on two different platforms it could be a broken digital copy of motorfest that's just horrible bro like i really hate the fact that i'm in this situation now keep in mind this is how you know i like motorfest so much because i'm going through the ends of the earth to fix this shit myself honestly at this point I, I mean i did comment on this video too but at this point i'm convinced that the only way i'm gonna be able to get this to, to work if i'm gonna get any possible help possible solutions and it's gonna be the most annoying way possible because I know it's gonna be a bunch of weirdos. It's gonna come out the woodworks and be like, oh, I knew it. He's just clout hungry. He just wants to get more fame, clout, and attention. I knew it. Nah, nah, nah. I hate, I hate that I have to say this. But my only solution is gonna have to be talking to Sid Wedge and asking this man to directly talk to them because he's the only one that I know who can actually get in contact with these people. It can actually tell them that there are problems with the game. If I were to have a real solution that could possibly work and it's the only one I know that without a doubt, the chance of working and I could possibly get my shit working again Sid Wash is literally the key and i hate to say that because i don't want to be that dude to be like oh well now i have to go and ask a big youtuber for help and risk the chances of being called a clout chaser or all sorts of bullshit because a nigga is struggling to get his shit fixed even though the real reason why i'm in this situation is because of ubisoft literally it's because of ubisoft i kid you not i wish i was lying my situation is because of ubisoft and ubisoft alone and it is horrible to think about because it's like these motherfuckers are constantly getting thrashed on every fucking day when it's reasonable to get thrashed on 
they're getting thrashed on. I know there's people that do the dumb, sh the, the the bullshit hate where it just makes no sense on like the whole maintenance shit. Like, oh, why they gotta make the maintenance on long? This is trash. Just make the game available already, and it's like I can understand the maintenance part. I'm not. I wasn't mad about that at all. Like, I could care less about the damn maintenance. Like, if you need maintenance, if you need double the maintenance time to fix a fucking game, that's quite literally using the same type of codes and all sorts of shit that's from the crew too which is the reason why motorfist is basically this broken you know the maintenance kind of just the maintenance kind of just goes out the window because you really ain't doing nothing but making the game at least functional just functional even though it's still going to be broken because it's using the same type of fucking codes as fucking the crew too it's just horrible it's the most logical reason as to why and it, to me it's the most logical reason as to why my shit is broken because i have proof showing that not only that i can't see any of my decals the fucking change material doesn't even change material but it shows the decal but it doesn't let the decal move with the placement but switching from change material to out of material then back in out of the rap editor takes so long for some reason to happen i don't know what to do at this point like i said my only solution now at this point which is the worst solution i could have but it's the only one i have that i can even do is sid wedge and honestly i know somebody's bro I, I keep saying this all the time and i'm i'm saying like just saying that i know people gonna be this and that because it's true like it's literally true like i know someone is gonna come out and be like bro just put in a claim and then Ubisoft will get back to you. Here's the problem. I said it over and over again that I literally put multiple of just like, and that's not like on some spam shit. I mean like over the course of time, I put multiple in of this situation and it was nothing but bot responses. And I put a third one in just re like a couple days ago and it hasn't gotten a response back yet. I don't know if it's gonna be a bot response. I hope not because I, I can't do this shit. It's sad that it it comes to the. It's just sad that it comes down to not having enough clout, attention, and shit to get in contact with people that should be knowing about these problems that should have been fixed way long ago. And it's crazy as hell to think about. Like I hate that this is literally a situation of mine, and it's because of Ubisoft that I'm in this situation. And they just refuse to do their job. Like, I'm going to say this over and over again. They don't, they didn't deserve the holiday break. They don't deserve no holiday break. Ubisoft, not Ivory Tower. Get it straight. Bro, the game is going on five to six months of its life cycle already. And they still haven't fixed the rap editor. And I'm just sitting there like, when will they ever do this? Because I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, just give them a year. I don't have a fucking year for Ubisoft to do their damn job. They have the facilities to actually do what they're supposed to do. And they choose not to do it. Because they don't care. And I'm not, like I said, I'm, I refuse to give them a year for them to do their job. That, that's just not how it's supposed to work. It's like what I said before. They neglected a day one patch for the game. Which left the game broken all the way up until they did a server maintenance update. That required the servers to be closed. And then it pushed out an update that, like I said, broke my game. And like, it literally broke my game. It literally broke my game. Everything, my rap editor was not broken at all to that extent until that update dropped. And then the December 6th update, of course, you know, you can't rap any of the Hoonigan cars. And I'm going to... And I'm going to just say this right now. I'm not going to go into little details on why I feel that way. Because long story short, I kind of got a little bit of history on why. But I still feel like even if it wasn't Hoonigan cars and it was other cars that they would have did that shit to, it still would have been a horrible update. Because just making every single car like that unable to be wrapped on is just ridiculous. And then, of course, on this update, which was the last chance of me giving Motorfest a chance that it would be fixed. And of course, it's not fixed, and I just don't know what to do. Yeah, this this is basically the video. Ubisoft is doing this shit, and they don't care. And if they did care, they would have fixed it by now. <laughs> like I kid you not, the rap editor does not take this long to fix. There's no way that they pushed out two updates, a broken server maintenance update, and neglected a day one patch. Not to mention the extensive, extensive maintenance for both the updates that came through you know what i'm saying 
and they still haven't fixed the rap editor. They had five to six months to fix this shit. And I'm not going to give them a year to do this shit. I'm going to have, I'm going to have videos coming out. It's just, I just, you know, slaving, you know, slaving away to the 95 industry. That's, that's basically, it. that's about it. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.